IWAM 2018, day one, first coffee break, and I'm interrupting Sebastian Pito, who's having a cup of coffee. Sorry about this, but we want to have a few words with you. Oh, well, yeah, it's nice to be here again. I was here in 2016. So, Tell yeah. Tell us where you're based and what you do. Uh, well, I'm a faculty in Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research in Bangalore, short GNCSR. Yep. So, I'm leading a group of, you know, around 15 students. And uh, we work basically in the field of material science with a focus on energy and environment. There's a couple of things I want to focus on. One is, first of all, the Team Breathe Global Challenge. Yes. What is that all about and what's your involvement? Uh, Team Breathe is actually a startup company uh, based on the technological development for the carbon dioxide reduction. Okay. So those actually producing carbon dioxide as waste from the energy sectors cement factory, steel industry, manufacturing industry. So how we can convert that efficiently into useful products like methanol, carbon monoxide, yeah, yeah. and uh, the technical value added products, etc. Apart that, actually carbon dioxide is one of the harmful actually in well, terms yeah. of yeah. Yeah, global warming actually mostly coming from the carbon dioxide. And you can see the statistics actually it is going up and up in every year. The ringing of the bells during coffee break saying the next session is about to start. So Briefly, tell us what the uh, global challenge, Team Brief, is all about. Big prize money, is it 20 million US dollars? And what stage are you at? Yes. So it's actually, I mean, a competition, you know, uh, initiated by, I mean, XPRIZE, an American venture capital. Yeah. And this is California-based, and they have a lot of competitions in a different, different <laughs> in area. So this particular competition, what they are actually looking for, you know, how we would, I mean, utilize carbon dioxide and how we can convert, how we can capture, et cetera, and all. So we have the expertise actually in the material science and how to develop the catalyst and how to design the catalyst. Yeah. And we already have improved that you know, for a lot of you know, different applications. So you're concentrating on the hardware needed. And I'm yeah. going to move from that to the local level here in Russell Kama. And I think you're hoping to get some involvement with Stevin Rock. Yes, yes, yes. So, Seven Rock, the advantage is actually, I mean, if you look at the first talk, I mean, they have a lot of carbonates mm. and uh, steel industry they are working. And these are the area actually most of the carbon dioxide. In future, it can accumulate if you develop, you know, this uh, technology uh, more, I mean, a scale up. And then amount of the carbon dioxide that's liberated from this particular area, yeah. cement factory or, you know, sure. the tile factory or steel industry. And, you know, as per um, the limit of you know, carbon dioxide, you know, uh, 450 parts per million this is already crossed yeah. and the moment it is crossing actually I mean it is actually I mean uh, global warming and uh, it's not only affect the overall global warming it's affecting your health system say Indeed. for example so for example if it's a particular amount demo it will affect your kidney you are in a lens etc yeah, it's, a lot of, uh, uh, yeah, it's a it's yeah. a it's a big common problem it's uh, one of the uh, the current uh, challenges I mean the humankind is yeah, facing sure, sure. And uh, so we, have, we, we found interesting in that. Well, right? good luck with that, and uh, good luck with your endeavors to reduce the uh, pollutants and the uh, yeah. efforts here with uh, Stevin Rock and also your uh, challenge for the, the Global Express uh, competition. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.